In this video, I'll go over setting up an account on your Synology NAS to be able to send files as email attachments using FileStation. The result should be that you'll be able to bring up FileStation, right-click on a file you would like to send as an email attachment, and send the file to an email contact. Let's get started with setting things up. Here, I'm logged in with a non-administrator account and I'll bring up the personal settings for the account. I'll then need to select email delivery where we can see that I'll need to add an email account to be able to send files from FileStation as attachments. I'll click add and I'll start off by selecting Google as the email service provider. For sender name, I'll enter in my name. From the authenticate with Gmail window, I'll click authenticate. Then from this sign in with Google window, I'll select the Gmail account I would like to use. From this window, I'll click on Allow to enable Synology personal notifications to be able to access my Google account. Next, I'll agree on this Synomail redirect window to complete the setup. At this point, we can see that authentication with Gmail was set up successfully, so I'll click Apply, then click Save to complete the Synology portion of the setup. Now, I'll bring up FileStation Right-click on a file that I would like to send to a contact and select Send as an email attachment. I'll then enter in the recipient's email address, enter in an email subject and body, then click Send. The system pops up a notification when the email was sent successfully, and if I check my email, I see that the message was sent successfully as well. Next, I'll bring up my account's personal settings once again. Delete the Gmail service provider profile, then click Add, and this time I'll select Outlook as the email service provider. I'll enter in a sender name. Click Authenticate on this Authenticate with Outlook window. Log in with my Microsoft account, and click Agree on this Synomail window. Now, from the Email Account Setup Wizard, we can see that authentication was successful so I'll click Apply, then Save to complete the setup. Now I'll bring up FileStation once again. Right-click on a file I would like to send as an email attachment, and we can see that my Outlook account is being used. I'll enter in the remaining information required to be able to send the email, then click Send. Now if I check my email once again, we can see that the message was sent successfully through my Outlook email service provider. I'll again bring up my account's personal settings, select email delivery, delete my Outlook service provider profile, and click add and select the customize option this time through. This allows me to add a custom email account, which can be an account with your ISP or an employer, for example. In my case, what I'll do is use my Gmail account once again, but I'll add it in using a custom configuration with an app password. If you'd like to do the same, you can bring up your Google account through the site myaccount.google.com. Click on Security. Expand the two-step verification listing, then scroll to the bottom of the page where you'll see App Passwords. Here, you can click on Select App and choose the Other Custom Name option. You'll then want to give the app a name, then click Generate, which provides you an app password that you'll need to save. Now I'll switch back to DSM to continue with the email account setup wizard. I'll enter in the SMTP server and port number, which should be the same for you as well. I'll enable authentication required, then enter in my email address under username and the app password that was just generated under password. I'll also enable the secure connection SSL TLS required option. Then enter in my Gmail email address once again under sender email. Enter in my name under sender name. Then click apply and save to finish setting things up. Now I'll bring up FileStation once again where we can see that the custom email profile is being used. I'll fill in the details needed to be able to send an email out, then click send when done. In a few minutes, I received the email successfully through the custom email service provider setup.
Note that on occasion, sending email attachments through FileStation doesn't work properly, so you may want to set up more than one of these email service providers to increase the chances of a successful email delivery. Also note that you'll be able to attach up to 10 files in a single email, and depending on the email server you are using, the total size of all attachments will be either 15 or 25 megabytes, according to this knowledge base article from Synology. And if you'd like an alternative to sending files as email attachments, you'll want to check out this video listed here on screen where I cover sharing files using share file links. Lastly, if you'd like to support my work, check out the support this channel section in the description below. Thanks so much for watching.